Following the deadly 4th of July mass shooting in Highland Park, Illinois, authorities in Richmond, Virginia say a call from a hero citizen thwarted a potential mass shooting in their city. Let's bring in Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney. Mayor Stoney, thank you for being with us. And yes, the target was also on the 4th of July. It was at an amphitheater in your city and it began with a tip. Tell us where authorities took it from there. Yeah, it began with a tip, Amy. And it, it was one of those you know, we say it a lot, and I'm glad that some of our residents uh, took heed and, and actually did what we asked them to do, and that is when you see something, say something. And sure enough, uh, a resident called in a tip saying that there were two individuals who were plotting a, a mass shooting on the 4th of July. Uh, we have two major gatherings during the 4th of July. One is at this amphitheater we call Dogwood Dell. Uh, that allowed for the police officers to actually show up at the home of these two roommates and where they were able to allow to go into the to the home and then they saw these weapons of war laid out right in front of them two uh, AR-15 two assault rifles and several hundred bullets available for mass chaos and mass casualties. Wow that said mayor how bad do you believe this could have been had that tip sir not called authorities? Well you know you we've seen um, the tragedies in Uvalde we've seen the tragedies uh, in Buffalo as well and all over this country and um, and we saw what happened to Highland Park uh, on 4th of July and so uh, I'm glad um, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that there was a hero that decided to do something say you know, say see something and do something with it but also I'm, I'm grateful for the Richmond Police Department as well for doing their due diligence tracking down uh, these individuals to their home putting heavy surveillance on one of them up into July 5th and avoiding uh, any sort of mass casualties and chaos uh, in our community. Yeah, thank goodness for that. And, and Mayor, you mentioned the weapons found, the ammunition found. Uh, do you know how these two individuals got these weapons in the first place and this ammunition? I do not know how these individuals got, uh, were able to uh, get these weapons, but I will say it is far too easy to, to access a weapon, a weapons of war in this country. Um, I was with I was at the White House yesterday to uh, applaud the White House, uh, President Biden, uh, and Congress for the work they did to get this recent gun legislation passed, the first step we've taken in 30 years. However, I'm here to say as a, a, a city mayor that we need to do more. We need to uh, cut off access to assault uh, weapons. We need to raise the uh, the age level in which you can actually access a weapon, we need to do background checks as well. I, I just think the Republican Party in this country has made it way too easy for people to access these weapons of war and that causes harm throughout all of our communities in this country. And Mayor, I, I want to turn to a, another topic that has uh, obviously been in the headlines over the last few weeks, the overturning of Roe versus Wade. I know that Virginia is a, a battleground state in terms of abortion rights for women there. Uh, the state currently allows it through the second trimester. Uh, we know that Governor Glenn Youngkin supports a 15-week ban. Um, others are suggesting a full ban in your state. What are you doing as mayor of Richmond to uh, protect women's abortion rights in your city? Yeah, abortion is legal in the Commonwealth of Virginia at this moment. However, we do have elections on the ballot next year that will have the General Assembly up for grabs. And so right now, we're doing everything we can at the local level to uh, tell folks that this is a, a pro-choice city. And what we're doing is we passed a resolution last week, unanimous through our city council, uh, up, 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 uh, going against Dobbs, but it's also supporting Roe v. Wade and also telling folks that we will be a pro-choice city as well. We also recently were able to uh, introduce a piece of legislation that would cut down on the harassment of individuals who would enter some of the health clinics uh, in, our, in our city. We have three of the 15 abortion clinics uh, in the Commonwealth of Virginia. We were able to propose a noise ordinance that would regulate uh, the noise levels that w for those who are entering uh, those uh, health clinics as well. So we're doing everything we can uh, to put our efforts behind protecting that choice here in the city of Richmond. We know you have a lot on your plate, Mayor, so we appreciate your time today. Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney, thank you for being with us today. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.